Altair designated Alpha Aquilae, is the brightest star in the constellation of Aquila and the twelfth brightest star in the night sky. It is currently in the G cloud, a nearby interstellar cloud, an accumulation of gas and dust. Altair is an A-type main sequence star with an apparent visual magnitude of zero. 77 and is one of the vertices of the summer triangle asterism. It is 16. 7 light years from the sun and is one of the most visible stars to the naked eye. Altair rotates rapidly, with a velocity at the equator of approximately 286 km per second. This is a significant fraction of the star's estimated breakup speed of 400 km per second. A study with the Palomar testbed interferometer revealed that Altair is not spherical, but is flattened at the poles due to its high rate of rotation. Other interferometric studies with multiple telescopes, operating in the infrared, have imaged and confirmed this phenomenon. Altair is the brightest star in the constellation Aquila Alpha Aquilae is the star's bear designation. The traditional name Altair has been used since medieval times. It is an abbreviation of the Arabic phrase Ail Nisra Ail Tar Altair, the flying. In 2016, the International Astronomical Union organized a working group on star names to catalog and standardize proper names for stars. The WGSN's first bulletin of July 2016 included a table of the first two batches of names approved by the WGSN, which included Altair for this star. It is now so entered in the Yao catalog of star names. Altair in comparison with the Sun along with Beta Aquilae and Gamma Aquilae, Altair forms the well-known line of stars sometimes referred to as the family of Aquila or shaft of Aquila. Altair is a type A main sequence star with about 1. 8 times the mass of the Sun and 11 times its luminosity. Altair rotates rapidly, with a rotational period of about 9 hours. For comparison, the equator of the Sun makes a complete rotation in a little more than 25 days. Its rapid rotation forces the star to be oblate. Its equatorial diameter is over 20% greater than its polar diameter. Satellite measurements made in 1999 with the Wide Field Infrared Explorer showed that the brightness of Altair fluctuates slightly, varying by just a few thousandths of a magnitude with several different periods less than two hours. As a result, it was identified in 2005 as a Delta Scuti variable star. Its light curve can be approximated by adding together a number of sine waves, with periods that range between zero. 8 and 1. 5 hours. It is a weak source of coronal X-ray emission, with the most active sources of emission being located near the star's equator. This activity may be due to convection cells forming at the cooler equator. Direct image of Altair, taken with the Kara array the angular diameter of Altair was measured interferometrically by our Hanbury Brown and his co-workers at Narrabri Observatory in the 1960s. They found a diameter of 3 milliseconds. Although Hanbury Brown et al realized that Altair would be rotationally flattened, they had insufficient data to experimentally observe its obliteness. Altair was later observed to be flattened by infrared interferometric measurements made by the Palomar Testbed Interferometer in 1999 and 2000. This work was published by G. T. Van Bell, David R. Charty and their co-authors in 2001. Theory predicts that, owing to Altair's rapid rotation, its surface gravity and effective temperature should be lower at the equator, making the equator less luminous than the poles. This phenomenon, known as gravity darkening or the von Zeipel effect, was confirmed for Altair by measurements made by the Navy Prototype Optical Interferometer in 2001, and analyzed by Ohashi et al. and Peterson et al. Dut. Also, A. Domiciano de Souza et al. Verified gravity darkening using the measurements made by the Palomar and Navy interferometers, together with new measurements made by the Vinci instrument at the VLTI. Altair is one of the few stars for which a direct image has been obtained. In 2006 and 2007, J. D. Monnier and his co-workers produced an image of Altair's surface from 2006 infrared observations made with the Merck instrument on the Kara Array interferometer. This was the first time the surface of any main sequence star, apart from the Sun, had been imaged. The false color image was published in 2007. The equatorial radius of the star was estimated to be 2. 03 solar radii, and the polar radius 1. 63 solar radii, a 25% increase of the stellar radius from pole to equator. The polar axis is inclined by about 60 degrees to the line of sight from the Earth. Altair the term al Nisra Alter appeared in al Aixasi al Muakes catalog, which was translated into Latin as Vulture Volans. 
This name was applied by the Arabs to the asterism of Altair, Beta Aquili and Gamma Aquili and probably goes back to the ancient Babylonians and Sumerians, who called Altair the Eagle Star. The spelling Atera has also been used. Medieval astrolabes of England and Western Europe depicted Altair and Vega as birds. The Cori people of Victoria also knew Altair as Bunjil, the wedge-tailed eagle, and Beta and Gamma Aquili are his two wives the black swans. The people of the Murray River knew the star as Totyrgil. The Murray River was formed when Totyrgil the hunter speared Ochout, a giant Murray cod, who, when wounded, churned a channel across southern Australia before entering the sky as the constellation Delphinus. In Chinese belief, the asterism consisting of Altair, Beta Aquili and Gamma Aquili is known as Hegu. The Chinese name for Altair is thus hegu -er. However, Altair is better known by its other names, Chen Yu Sing or Niu Lang Sing, translated as the cowherd star. These names are an allusion to a love story, the cowherd and the weaver girl, in which Niu Long and his two children are separated from respectively their wife and mother the new by the Milky Way. They are only permitted to meet once a year, when magpies form a bridge to allow them to cross the Milky Way. The people of Micronesia called Altair Mylapa, meaning big slash old breadfruit, while the Maori people called this star Paudute Rangi, meaning pillar of heaven. In Western astrology, the star was ill-omened, portending danger from reptiles. This star is one of the asterisms used by Bugis sailors for navigation, called Bintang Timuro, meaning Eastern Star NASA announced Altair as the name of the Lunar Surface Access Module on December 13, 2007. The Russian-made Bury FB-200 Altair seaplane is also named after the star. The bright primary star has the multiple star designation WDS19508 plus 0852A and has several faint visual companion stars, WDS19508 plus 0852B, C, D, E, F and G all are much more distant than Altair and not physically associated. Thanks for watching.